sorry, young man. I hope I didn't scare you. Care for some ice cream? Huh? Thanks anyway. over here. Concentrate on this! Hmm. Ow! Isn't that scrumptious? Why is my head throbbing? Oh, that's just the brain freeze. Don't you love this? What is it? It's a triple frappo capo shaved ice. It's like so totally in. Yeah, well, the next time I need to have my brain frozen, I'll order one. Hey, guys! I'm so excited I found you. Is that a triple frappo capo shaved ice? Oh, I love those. Uh, you want to tell us something? Oh, right. You remember Barry? Cute Barry? Really, really cute and perfect Barry? The Barry from our science class? That's the one! Perfect, wonderful, magnificent. We got it. Barry. What about him? He just asked me to the Out of This World dance this Saturday night. Oh, that's nice, Alex. That's not just nice, that's amazing. Do you know what this means? Alex is going to the dance with perfect, wonderful Barry? No. Alex has to get a new dress. And as one of your closest friends, I feel that it is my responsibility to help you pick it out. I don't know if I really need a new dress. <laughs> of course you do. I mean, if you don't get a new dress, how am I supposed to borrow it? Hmm. Look great with my eye color. Oh, <laughs> I mean, your eye color. Sam, what do you think? I think the green one looks better with Clover's eyes. <gasps> it's him! Barry! Uh, what are you doing? Don't you know a boy isn't supposed to see a girl in her date dress before the date? Oh, that'll bring seven years of bad dating luck. Really? Okay, now you're being ridiculous. Alex, quick! Pull down the blinds! <laughs> oh, too late! The bad dating luck has begun. Oh, great! Now I must think I'm an idiot! <laughs> I hope Barry doesn't have a convertible! <laughs> Good afternoon, super spies. Ah, new dress? That'll go great with Clover's eyes. <laughs> What's up, Jerry? There's something very odd going on, and I need you to check it out. Cool. Actually, cold. Extremely cold. Several people have been found frozen solid. Our scientists have never seen anything like it. Are the people okay? For now. They seem to be in some sort of hibernation. We're trying to figure out how to thaw them out. The only clue we have is this recording we got from a distress call. You've got to help me! He's after me! Ah! What was that weird music? We don't know, but it's our only clue. We're on it, Jerry. As I knew you would be. Gladys? Girls, based on what we know so far, I think that the following items will keep you from getting a cold reception. Get it? Get it? We got it, Gladys. For Sam, we've got the multifunction charm bracelet. How come I can't get the charm bracelet? Because the last time you used it, you inflated the emergency life raft inside an elevator. <laughs> yeah, that was something. So, for Clover, let's go to the high-range sound-sensing CD MP3 player. What do I get? Considering that you're already overdressed, let's go simple. Hologram projecting mood ring. What do you mean, overdressed? Scour the city, ladies. Find the source of that distinctive sound, and you'll find our perpetrator. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my boyfriend's gone, gone all purple. Hey! 
You should be scanning for that bizarro sound, not listening to your bizarro music. For your information, Smoochie Platypus is the number one band today. Hold it. I think I'm getting something. Put it on the speaker. Dude, check out those two cute girls in the front seat. Hey, what am I, yesterday's meatloaf? There it is again! Proof positive that seven years of bad dating luck have started for you! I'm gonna be like 50 by the time this curse is over. Oh, hold it. I'm getting something else. That's it! Can you track it? Turn left! Where is it? It's speeding up and moving further away like it knows we're after it! Turn right! Sam! We're gaining on it. It's just up ahead, around the corner. Left, go left! <laughs> we lost it. Oh, nothing. Maybe it came from that ice cream truck. Oh, sure. And that cute guy over there is a super villain. Where are you going? I just want to go check him out. It out, the, the truck. While you're there, see if they have a triple fractal capo shaped ice. <gasps> You should watch where you're going. Oh, great. More bad dating luck. Maybe Clover's right. You got anything other than plain old ice cream? This young man is also perfectly fine for someone who is flash frozen. He probably won't even remember what happened to him, assuming we can figure out how to thaw him. How's it going? I just finished running the scan on the sample of the ice cream we scraped off the road. Main ingredient, Barrowaco? What's that? Only an exceptionally rare experimental element that causes anything it comes in contact with to freeze immediately. How do you know these things? Because instead of spending all my time listening to music, I occasionally read books. Can't be that simple. I'll have the whoop scientist start working on an antifreeze formula straight away. Hello? <gasps> oh, hi, Barry. I'm so excited about the dance. What time are you going to pick me up? Hmm. Something came up. You're not going to be able to go to the dance after all? Oh, no. That's okay. I understand. More dating bad luck. Shush. Wait, Barry. What's making that sound? An ice cream truck just pulled up to the school! Wait! Barry! Don't hang up! Take the car. We repaired it. Just be more careful with it this time. Where is everyone? This is major creepy. This is 
is what you get for canceling on me. No, they got Mandy. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> they got Mandy. Just a little surprise for Mandy for after we thaw her out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ice cream truck. Come on. It's getting away! <laughs> Hello? Sam, how's it going? Well, you better send the team down to the school. There are eight kids frozen in the gym. Any luck with the antidote? Not yet, but I've traced the ferro Acco that was found in the ice cream to a recent shipment from a laboratory. It went to a factory downtown. You'd better look into it. Okay, Jerry, we'll check it out. How's the car holding up? Um, gotta run, Jer. Talk soon. How are we gonna check out that factory without being turned into spicicles? So, what's your plan for getting in, Sam? Pipe problems. <gasps> Yo, Speedy Plumbers, we got a call about a leak? There's no leak here. Oh, I guess we do have a leak. Come on in. Thank goodness for stupid henchmen. Oh, this is a nasty problem you've got here. My man and me best have a look-see. Yeah. Like she said. Uh, he said. Okay, just stay out of the mixing room in the back. It's private. Right. right. Wow. I wonder what flavor that is. <laughs> Toxic. <gasps> I go. <laughs> Oh, my. I must have wandered into the wrong place. You've got to get out of here, sir! There's some bad, bad stuff going on here! Bad, bad stuff? Oh, dear. We better leave in a jiffy. Sir! Not that way! Come with us! We'll get you to safety! Bad, <gasps> bad stuff! <laughs> Old and nasty, huh? You kids today, you're the nasty ones, not me! Hey, you don't see us going around freezing people! No, I see you going around ordering your low-fat, low-carb, low-taste frozen treats! Your slush ice, watery nothings! My family has been making ice cream for four generations, and I'm about to be put out of business because I'm not a trendy or groovy! Actually, nobody really says groovy anymore. But now, I'm going to get my revenge on all of you Beverly Hills types. And believe me, revenge is a dish that's best served cold! In less than an hour, I'm going to unleash my frozen wrath on all of Beverly Hills. And you won't be able to stop me! Oh, please! The being slowly dipped into nasty liquid by evil madman thing is so 20 years ago. Oh, those were the days. How are you going to get everyone in Beverly Hills to eat your ice cream? I thought you can't give the stuff away. <laughs> Who said that they have to eat it? Anyone got a plan? Yeah, me. <laughs> ah, great, Alex. One limb free, only 11 more to go. We'll never make it in time. We will if we get some help! Help! They got away! <gasps> oh, great! <gasps> How'd they get away? <laughs> Thank goodness for stupid henchmen! Ah, 
checked. Are you sure we're going in the right direction? Remember what the ice cream man said? He was gonna get his revenge on all of Beverly Hills. This is the perfect place to launch his attack. Keep looking! Who's ready for a little ice cream? How many times do we have to tell you? No dessert until after dinner. Triple Frappo Capo shaped ice in there, would you? <laughs> Goodbye, my little low fat friends. Now! <laughs> what? <laughs> What's with you and that life raft? Yeah! Clover, you're a genius. That's what I keep telling you. It seems that the heavy hydrocarbons counteract the freezing effect and turn the stuff back into plain old ice cream. That's all we've got so far. I'll call you the moment I know more. Where are we going to get heavy hydrocarbons at this time of day? I think I know. Alex! Where are you going? been a bit of a jerk, but would you like to dance? Sure! 
Looks like those rabbit feet are working after all, huh? Uh-oh. It's come to my attention that people are curious how I unwind at the end of a long, arduous day of running a super-secret spy network. Well, firstly, I change from my stuffy spy master outfit into something a tad more casual. Next, I put on soothing music, and finally, I recline in a neutral gravity position while sipping my favorite drink, kiwi juice. No! Ah! I rested for almost five seconds! A new record for me! Right then, back to protecting the world. <laughs>